Hey guys, I wanted to give you an update on the HTTPS situation. I am super close to getting it uh, up and running, I think, but I'm not quite there yet. So I'm going to give you an update of where I am and how I got here. So last time I was stuck with not letting an EC2 instance. Uh, we were using Let's Encrypt and they were blacklisting EC2 instances. So to get around that, what you have to do is create a custom domain. Now I already had a custom domain from a while ago that uh, was just sitting around. It was an old one that's going to expire soon called Not Real Chefs. So I used that as my Let's Crypt, uh, Encrypt host and this bypassed this, the first error. Um, and let me just tell you guys, I have been running into all kinds of errors and this is way more convoluted and complex than I ever thought it would be to try setting this up. And I'm thinking it's because we're using Let's Encrypt. I was thinking it'd be easier than it was, but I think it actually might be easier to do it in a different way. But anyway, this bypassed the first error. So now we were able to at least attempt for Let's Encrypt to um, try to connect to our server and do the authentication exchange thing to create the uh, certificates and all that jazz because we had a legitimate domain. So I then had to set up this domain with EC2 and have not real chefs point to that too. Um, so that was error number one we got past. But then I was having trouble having Let's Encrypt connect to my EC2 instance for some reason. And I wasn't sure quite why. And the first reason why I couldn't connect is because I was running just a regular um, Nginx, right? This is the Nginx that we are using for our website. Um, to redirect traffic to our express server and what I needed to do was have a different Nginx server sit in front of it. So we create a specific Nginx server to handle HTTPS and HTTP um, that basically sits in front of our other Nginx server. So we're actually running two Nginx instances and if you remember Docker Gin, that is the thing that uh, had to do with Nginx proxy and basically writes configuration file based on Docker containers and all that stuff. I'm using the Nginx template from this, copy and pasted it. You'll notice over here I have that installed on my computer. And so in my Docker Compose file, um, Nginx uh, Gin, instead of pointing at uh, my site dot template I'm pointing at nginx template uh, so I can't I need to have this intermediate nginx that's specifically just for HTTPS and now this guy is going to sit in front of this um, nginx instance and so this guy is still using the my site template but now we have broke out the HTTPS part for this nginx instance to handle it so hopefully it should take this and route it here. Now, I'm not quite sure how to tell this HTTPS Nginx uh, service to route it over here. I believe you can use virtual and env and virtual port. These are special environment variables to have uh, this guy over here route traffic over here. And so I believe it'll route the traffic to, to localhost 8001, so I binded into next 8001 and of course it's expecting to be opened up on 80 so we bind from 80 to 8001 uh, this number I picked arbitrarily it could be anything pretty much but they just need to match up here anyway so we have this guy sitting out in front and originally I just had this uh, the ports here open up at 8080 and 443 443 I did not have this IP address out in front so that caused another problem. Uh, we were ha having basically having trouble connecting again, even though I set up this Nginx in front of it that was supposed to be able to um, get the requests from Let's Encrypt and handle the handshake that needed to be done. So next thing that I had to do was add this IP in front. And then once I added this IP in front, and this is my uh, EC2 IP address, the one IP address that I used the SSH in. Uh, not this one, but I, I tried that first. And then I had trouble binding to port 443. 
uh, when I would run docker compose up, it would have trouble uh, binding to this port. So what I did, what, what I thought is we were having a problem maybe with uh, this EC2 instance, the IP address. So I made an elastic IP address. Um, if you just come over here, elastic IP address, you can create a new one and bind it to your EC2 instance. And so now you use this IP address instead of this. And I also thought maybe this is the security groups. So in my security groups over here, I created HTTPS and allows 443, and we still had trouble. Um, the trouble we had was binding the port. Uh, for whatever reason, it still couldn't bind it. I thought those things would fix it. Turns out there's a whole nother thing you have to do over here. Um, I just found it on Stack Overflow. You have to add this um, line into your syscontrol conf. I'm not really sure what it does. I guess it lets us bind to that address. I'm not really sure, quite sure how it works, but it did work for me. I was now able to bind onto 443, which was perfect, which is what I wanted. Um, so I'm not sure if I actually had to create an elastic um, IP. I'm assuming I had to change the security group to open it up for HTTPS, but again, not quite sure. Um, it, but yes, so now this is where I'm at. It's finally able to, uh, Let's Encrypt is finally able to connect, uh, but take a look. Um, we have reached, uh, I was trying this a bunch, too many authorizations recently with Let's Encrypt. So basically they blocked me for a little bit. I've been rate limited. So I need to wait for that to wear off um, and I'll try again tomorrow. But it's good that Let's Encrypt can at least connect to the machine now um, correctly and I'm able to bind to the port. I think I'm really close with this configuration. But as you can see, this is pretty convoluted just to get um, HTTPS working. Um, also, you notice I have a, a two networks. Um, that was another thing I was just trying to get um, it working to have Let's Encrypt connect because for a while I had trouble getting it to connect. Not sure if this is actually um, needed or not. You might just be fine with this single network. Um, and I have this guy on WebNet. And I, yep, I have this guy on WebNet too. So this is where my config file is at right now. I will upload it to GitHub if you want to check it out. It might change when I uh, actually am able to connect to Let's Encrypt and see um, if it works. But hopefully by tomorrow I'll have HTTPS up and running. I'm thinking I should just have, you know, run this again. It should connect and go through and be configured. My next concern is once I get HTTPS working is I need to make sure traffic is correctly being routed from this Nginx server to this Nginx server and then he redirects it to Express.js server. So not sure if that's all going to work flawlessly. Um, if it gets too complex I might just drop this all together because uh, this is way too complicated than it needs to be but I'm so close to finishing it I think. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. And next time when I try this out, I think I'm not going to use Let's Encrypt, at least in, with uh, Docker. Um, it's making it too complex. I think we can basically sign our own, um, our own certificates um, and get that working easier. But that's it for this video, guys. I just want to give you an update of where I was at with this and, uh, yeah, what's going on with it. And I'll link this Stack Overflow in the description below if anyone's trying this and having troubles with it like I am. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks. For